slack sails signaled trouble for sailors plying the trade routes of yore. The intertropical convergence zone, known by sailors as the doldrums, describes a monotonous, windless passage. So, too, is the export market for tea. Like the converging trade winds, the impact shifts with the seasons and locations, but the overall drag on productivity, resources, and profits is global. The Tea Association of India calls these times a return to the dark phase. A.J. Jalan, president of the Tea Association of India, cited stagnant prices, oversupply, a widening gap between demand and supply, and a race to the bottom for cheaper teas. Speaking to delegates at the association's annual meeting, he was quoted in the Hindu saying, The economic strides made by our nation are indeed commendable, yet the tea industry is currently experiencing challenges reminiscent of the dark phase two decades ago. Twenty-two years ago, India's tea industry experienced a severe downturn until 2007, when a global recession extended the pain. India is not alone. China's tea export value declined by 16% to $1.74 billion in 2023, down by $343 million, and falling, for the first time in several years, below $2 billion. China's export value fell by 9.6% in 2022. Export volume remained low in Sri Lanka, but its value rose to $1.3 billion. Kenya was the only top five tea producer to show gains in volume and value. Quote, Global sales of exported tea from all countries totaled $7.87 billion in 2022, up by a flatlining 0.2% since 2018, when worldwide tea exports were worth $7.86 billion, according to analyst Daniel Workman at World's Top Exports. Quote, Year over year, the value of worldwide tea exports shrank by an average negative 8.8% compared to the $8.63 billion sold in 2021. Only China, Sri Lanka, and Kenya generate more than a billion in dollar value, accounting now for 60% of global export value. Demand is steady, but prices are stagnant, preventing producers from keeping pace with rising labor and input costs. Mass market retailers continue to pressure brands, which pressures margins, which averaged only 5% in India last year and have fallen 150 basis points since 2022, according to Crisil Ratings. The UNFAO's Intergovernmental Group on Tea, IGGT, at its 25th session in January, released a comprehensive analysis everyone in the tea industry should read. The report states, quote, International tea prices, as measured by the FAO Tea Composite Price Index, a weighted average for black tea, including crushed tear curl and orthodox teas, remained firm over the last decade. In this instance, quote, remaining firm, end quote, means losing ground. The key takeaway summarized in the report is that, quote, over the last decade, world tea intake increased annually by 3.3%, reflecting strong growth in producing countries that have more than offset declines in traditional importing markets, end quote. The good news is that FAO projects long-term demand for tea rising. Global intake has increased for the last decade, and year-over-year -year consumption expanded by at least 2% in 2022. The bad news? After increasing by 14.5% in 2022, tea prices fell by 9.2% in 2023, as availability expanded while demand slowed, putting downward pressure on prices. FAO writes, quote, diversification and value addition are vital to boosting the sector's performance as consumer behavior is evolving towards specialty and high-quality tea products, end quote. Eliminate the surplus, destroy waste leaves, and pivot to quality. The race to the bottom is exacting much too high a price. 
India Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has submitted an interim 2024-25 fiscal budget with significant allocation for India's agricultural sector. Large allotments for tea growers and processors include an 82% increase to 529 crore, about 64 million U.S. dollars, for tea development and promotion through fiscal 2026. India is the largest black tea producer and among the world's top tea exporters, but export value has declined by 4% to $673 million from April 2023 through January 2024. Full-year estimates are even gloomier, with the crystal ratings estimating an 8% year-over-year decline in value. High production costs have contributed to a decline in average tea industry profitability to 5%, down 150 basis points since last fiscal year. The budget stresses the importance of quality over quantity, allocating about 105 crore, that's $12.7 million, to establish 800 self-help groups and 330 farmer producer organizations during the two years ending fiscal 26. The investment in smallholders is warranted, as 230,000 small business enterprises, 70% of which farm less than a hectare of land, now produce more than half of the country's output of unprocessed tea leaves. Commerce Department Additional Secretary Amardeep Singh Bhatia explained that initial proposals called for 40 SHGs and 8 FPOs at a cost of about 2.7 crore, $325,000. That outlay has been increased by 82%, he said. Tea promotion in overseas markets is the priority. The budget to promote Darjeeling and other GI-accredited tea areas was increased to 72.42 crore, about $8.7 million. He said the government also allocated 40 crore, about $4.8 million, to enhance blending and packaging capability. Quote, The objective is to increase exports, especially in value-added segments, and the consumption of quality tea, end quote, he said. The budget funds 20 crore to expand laboratory testing to improve tea quality. Domestic demand, which accounts for 82% of volume, remains steady at 1,100 million kilos. But exports, which account for the remaining 18% of volume and contribute 30% of value, may slide as much as 12%, according to Crystal Ratings. Funds are also earmarked to harness technology, digitize the compilation of the Tea Board of India's statistics, conduct drone surveillance and precision farming, and enhance blockchain traceability. Capital expense outlays for railway and aviation improvements, green energy, and coal gasification also benefit tea. According to Finance Minister Satharaman, the investment establishes a foundation for a vision of a viscat Abharat, a developed India. Tea production in Japan declined by 3% in 2023 to 68,000 metric tons, well below the 100,000 metric ton average of years past. Growers in Shuswoka and Kagoshima combined to produce 78% of the country's crude tea. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, crude tea production from eight primary tea-producing prefectures contracted by 2% compared to 2022. The area under tea also decreased, and yield per hectare fell to 1,030 kilos in Chuswoka Prefecture, which accounts for 40% of total production. Chuswoka's annual harvest was down 5% to 27,200 metric tons. The decline is attributed to low nighttime temperatures and reduced labor productivity as growers age. Production of premium Ichibancha, early harvest sincha, in Shuazoka was down 14% compared to 2022. Kagoshima growers fared better, accounting for 38% of production and harvesting 26,100 metric tons, only 1,100 metric tons less than Shuazoka. 
Erratic weather conditions impacted quality, leading to a fall in average prices. The J.A. Shwazwoka Economic Foundation estimated crude tea prices fell to 960 yen per kilo, a 37% decline compared to 2022. Prices have remained below 1,000 yen per kilo for several years, according to a report in Nikai Shambhum. A shortage of Ichibanchka drove prices to 1,955 yen per kilogram, an average of 35 yen more per kilo than the previous year. Exports remain strong, with green tea averaging $25 to $30 per kilo during the past five years. In 2023, Selena Wamuchi estimated the average price to be $27.50 per kilo, rising to $28 per kilo in 2024. Retail prices for green tea ranged from $7.82 to $31.29 per kilo, an average of about 1,000 to 4,000 yen per kilo in major cities. Business Insight The Global Japan Tea Association writes that while the industry faces challenges, quote, there are also some glimmers of hope. While we hear much about the aging and shrinking tea farmer population, some people want to start farming afresh. Kyoto Tea Research Institute recently held a graduation ceremony for its Uji Tea Practical School. This is a two-year program that started in 2019 and trains tea farmers. However, the number of students was small, and this year there was only one graduate, a new tea farmer from Minami Yamashiro Village, end quote. Produced by Adavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.